Hello, and thanks for stopping by the Sister Cousins Lifestyle Channel. My name is Sandy, and in today's video, we're gonna be doing some table decorating. Um, I like to do tablescapes in my home from time to time, but at Christmas time is the time that I go all out. I love a beautiful uh, tablescape for the holiday season. So if you're looking for some table decorating inspiration, this video is for you. So don't click off, keep watching. Now, when I give my table decorating inspiration, I like to give multiple options. I just love sometimes just playing around with different ideas. So this is the first look that I've come up with. I put a piece of garland down the center of the table. I kind of fluffed it out. This garland does have some berries and uh, pine cones, which I do have uh, pine cones throughout my home. So I do decorate with those. Berries is a little bit different, but in my last video, I shared that I put these stockings up and they're bringing in that burgundy color. So I thought the burgundy would be okay. And then I just took, took some picks that I already had in my collection, just kind of stuck them around on the ends. I stuck a couple bulbs in here. Um, this table is mixing metals intentionally. I do not have a problem with silver and gold together. I actually rather love it together. So I have uh, this deer here that is silver in color. And then I've got two other silver deers on each side of him. I've got these glasses here that I got last year from Hobby Lobby and they have the stag hat on them in the gold color. And I also have these stag head napkin rings that I got from Hobby Lobby last year as well. And they are in silver. Do not be afraid to mix your silver and gold. It is so, so pretty, especially at Christmas time. So I brought in a little bit more gold with these picks that I mentioned I already had. But I think this tablescape looks really, really pretty. Very simply done. Very, very simple. Just like I said, a piece of garland down the middle. Two regular um, ornament balls there and um, the deer in the middle. And then I just have a basic plate and bowl here. I do have the cedar placemats here that I thought just added to the look. I thought that was really pretty as well. And yeah, that's what the tablescape is looking like. And so this is look number one. Let me know what you think. Now also over on my bar cart, I have the same silver and gold concept going. So I have um, my ice bucket has gold stag heads on it. I love stag heads. <laughs> I've got this wine um, cork that has a uh, stag head on it in silver. And then I've got this ornament candle. I've been burning this earlier today and just didn't put this back on. Love this candle, but it has uh, the gold details on it. My bar card is silver, and the mirror above it um, has a silver hue to it. It's mirrored, of course. I'm not panning up yet because I got some stuff out for my second look, so I'll show you the full look. Oh, and then I just have these uh, little utensils here that have the gold stag heads on it. So I'll show you this just to show that mixing metals is very pretty during um, anytime really, but especially during the holiday season. So I just turned the light on so you can get a really good look at that. And then let's take another look at the tablescape. This is look number one. Okay, so now for the second look, um, we're going to keep the dinnerware basically the same, but we're going to change out the centerpiece and do more of a minimalist look. I think that's the way I'm going. Sometimes I don't know what ends up happening, but anyway, we're going to remove some of these extra things here and we're going to create a totally different look by removing these and creating a different centerpiece. Creating centerpieces is like art to me, and sometimes I'm just not in the mood to do it, but when I get in the mood, I'll just keep changing it out and changing it out and coming up with different looks, and I just really enjoy that. And this is an, an example of what I've done with this look. So this one here is uh, mostly thrifted. Most of the items on here are thrifted. The um, sleigh, the deer, the horn candle holders are all thrifted items, and I kept the cedar um, places 
placemats here. And um, yeah, I just really like the way that this look is simple. There's no runner there. It's just a very, very simple um, centerpiece. And I'm all about being able to move things out of the way when you need to use your, your space for something else. So this will be easy enough to do. It's just four pieces, basically. Um, but I really think that this is a cute look. And the significance of the... Um, musical instrument candle holders is that um, I did do a music theme Christmas tree this year. If you've not seen that video, be sure once you leave here today, you stop by and check that out. It's beautiful. I must say so myself. It is beautiful. And so I do have musical instruments and um, things that symbolize music throughout my home. And this is a beautiful tablescape to kind of complement that look. Some of my favorite Christmas decoration or decor pieces have been thrifted. I just love what you can find in the thrift stores as it relates to Christmas items. Okay, so this next look, I've added some lanterns to the table. I also added a traditional type of uh, table runner, not the garland. And it is in a green color, more of an emerald green, which is not exactly the color that I was going with uh, for this year, but I love it. And I already had it in my collection, so I thought, let's give it a try. But let me let you get a closer look at it. Okay, so these lanterns I already had. They were from Home Goods some time ago. Love them with these green candles in there. And I have this table scarf that I got from Hobby Lobby, and it's more in the color that I wanted. So I just layered it on top of this more emerald green just to kind of see how that looked. I switched out to glasses to these black and gold since the colors are primary black, gold, and um, green. And then I, I kept my uh, thrifted horn candle sticks there and those um, candles in the emerald green color. But I think this looks pretty. I like it. Yeah, the, that gold is really popping against that green. More of a traditional looking color. And you can see the little glow from the candles and also the gold inside the glasses. It's giving that a nice little contrast. Kind of like what that's doing there. But yeah, that's how this one is looking. Do you have a favorite yet? I think I do. But anyway, like I said, once I get started with doing tablescapes, it's like getting started and having no breaks. I don't know when to stop. So there will be another look coming up. But this is what look number three is like. And I have my wheels are churning now. And I have another idea that I think that I'm going to like as well. Be sure to drop down in the comments below and let me know which one is your favorite. Now with this look, I took that same piece of garland that we had in look one, I put it on a tray. And I really like this look because it's portable then. So if you're having guests over and you need to remove your centerpiece so that you have more room or you wanna place food on your table, it's easy enough to remove. And then if you're not entertaining, it looks pretty on the in-between. So um, let me give you a closer look at this one. So we've just got a tray here. It's a very large tray, which I really like. And I just put a deer in the middle here and just round, uh, wound this piece of garland around it. This garland is lit with a few lights, so that just kind of adds that little extra magic to it. I did bring back my napkins with the uh, stag head napkin rings and the glasses with the stag head since I have the deer here. But I think this is a nice, simple look. And like I said, easy enough to move this out of the way to entertain. So another look that I really, really like. <laughs> you could also take it and put like a bunch of um, Christmas balls in there, or, you know, it's a lot of space in there. You could do a candle in there, which would actually look really pretty as well. I'm gonna try uh, with my big ornament candle and see how that looks. You can see it's already burning. I love burning candles. I burn candles every day, pretty much all day in my home. I just love the ambiance. I love the scent of them. And this is one of my favorite. This is in uh, frankincense and myrrh. I really, really like it. I got this from our house and uh, it's really pretty. And I love the packaging. This is very pretty. Just gotta make sure that, you know, there's no <laughs> burning risk of uh, catching a fire. So you make sure that your greenery is far enough away so that it doesn't catch a flame. But that's beautiful. I love that. This will look really, really pretty at night uh, here with the little lights on the garland and that bulb, so pretty. 
So this look wasn't even supposed to happen. It was just an idea that I had in, in the throes of things. But I think this ended up being my absolute favorite one. I'm going to give you a uh, reminder of what the other looks like so that you can tell me what you think. I thought look number one was going to be my favorite look, but I am really, really liking this one. And take a look at how this is going to look when the you know when it's not burning i just love the way that this looks so simple so very simple but this is so pretty to me i like it a lot let me know what you think below now let's do a trip down memory lane and look at all the looks again so this is the first look and this is the one where I had the garland running down the center of the tree very simply um, decorated I think but probably the most uh, decorative of all the looks but still in the simplicity range I think anyway. You let me know what you think. You might think girl that one is kind of a lot <laughs> but um, yeah I do like this one. That is look number one. And so now we will go into look number two. Look number two, I really like it a lot. This is my thrifted tablescape, I guess I'll call it. Um, I really like the way that it looks. And as I'm looking back doing this voiceover, I think it would have been interesting to add a table runner on here to see what that looked like. But it was pretty. And that brings us to look number three. Another very, very simple look, but I love the look of the green runner putting it in on there. It just kind of completed the look, um, but I thought that was very elegant. And now we're into look number four. And this is when I brought in that tray and put the garland that I had in look number one, just kind of wrapped it around and put the deer in here. And I really like the way that that looked. I like the portability of this and being able to kind of move it around if I needed the space for something. But when I switched it out and added the Christmas ornament, I actually like that look better. And that brings me to look number five. Now, when I showed it the first time, I liked it a lot, but something was missing. So I did go back in and I decided to put those cedar uh, placements back up under the plates. And I really think that completed the look. Yeah, this is how it's looking. It just kind of looks more complete. So I really do like it. <clears throat> this is more of an evening shot of it and it really comes to life and I am really, really loving it. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. I hope you found some inspiration for how you might want to decorate your table for the Christmas holiday or for your entertaining needs. If you did get any type of inspiration from this video, please drop down below. Let me know what it is. Let me know which one of these tables style was your favorite and also let me know how or if you're planning to do a formal tablescape for your holiday decorating needs also if you are not currently subscribed I would love it if you would consider hitting that subscribe button and also hit that post notification bell so that you're notified each time I upload videos and I hope to see you all over here on my next one bye bye a feeling now it's time for christmas and christmas is my favorite time of year it's beginning to look like all my wishes are coming true that's why i cheer i've been busy decking the